Hi guys, welcome back to Page Monkeys. Well, I realized I haven't really been recommending fantasy books in a while, so I decided to recommend Brandon Mole's Beyond Tri Trilogy, which is about the best trilogy ever. I read this book over the Christmas holidays, and each book was even better than the one before. So without further ado, let's get started. So this book is mainly about a 13-year-old dude named Jason Walker, who lives in Vista, Colorado. And I'm pretty sure he works in the zoo. So one day he works, he's in the zoo and he hears music coming from the hippo. Now, I know that just sounds a little bit cheesy because like he hears the hippo, I mean, he hears the music that leads him to a portal and he goes to a magical world and saves the world, but it's more complicated than that. When he hears the music, he just gets too curious and he leans inside the tank and he gets too close so he gets swallowed by the hippo, which is really ironic. Anyway, when he wakes up, he realizes that he isn't in a hippo's stomach, but he's in a magical world named Lyrian. And without knowing, he's actually the first Beyonder, which is like people from Earth to visit Larian in about a hundred years, along with another mysterious Beyonder. With help of guidance, he becomes in the hospitality of the lore master, who is like the librarian of the repository of learning. But within that stay, fate brings Jason to a book that contained vital secrets to overthrow Maldor, and Ra and Jason just unknowingly read all of them. By the way, Maldor is this um this feared ruler, who's actually the ugly guy right over here. <laughs> Having read those vital secrets, um, Jason can't turn back to Earth or the beyond anymore because um, Maldor's spies get word that Jason read some vital secrets and they alerted Maldor, so now Maldor is trying to hunt Jason. But fortunately, he meets Bryn the Gamester, who's actually part of a resistance. And the Gamester brings him to the resistance, and Jason joins the resistance, even though he knows the risk that he's taking. Well, this book is about trust, betrayal, friendship, and hope, and it's basically a book that I would really recommend. Well, if you really need more proof, how about mentioning the deep, unfathomable, and magical Adamic language, which um, can do anything from setting fires, um, throwing massive weights, speaking to animals, and teleporting. Or how about the seedmen who can live multiple lives if they have their seed, like, undamaged and stuff. Or that giants grow in the dark and shrink at dawn. Anyways, I just really like this book and I hope you enjoy it if you read it. Bye!